unbelievable historical photos of the Cuban force before Castro will blow your mind. Get ready to spice up your history lesson because we're heading to Cuba, the small island that packed a mighty punch in the Cold War. With communism just a stone's throw away from America, tensions were sky high and stakes were higher than ever before. Join me, David, as we dive into Cuba's past to uncover why this little country became such a colossal player in the Cold War. So grab a Cuban cocktail and light up a cigar because this is La Guerra Fria, War with Spain. The late 19th century saw the US getting into a sticky situation with Spain due to an unfortunate accident and sensationalized news reports. Meanwhile, Cuba was already in the throes of a war of independence against the Spanish Empire. As stories of Spanish atrocities circulated, the American public was stirred into a frenzy demanding intervention from their government. Even after Spain changed their stance towards Cuba, it was too late to turn back the tide. Fears of violence against Americans in Havana led to the dispatch of the USS Maine, which tragically exploded just off the coast, claiming the life of over 200 sailors. The cause of the disaster remains a mystery, but at the time, it was attributed to a Spanish sea mine. With tensions at an all-time high, President William faced immense pressure to respond. McKinley, newspaper mogul William Randolph Hearst played a role in spreading a conspiracy theory that the Spanish were responsible for sinking the USS Maine. Interestingly, the character of Charles Foster Kane in Citizen Kane was based on Hearst and the movie alludes to this particular event. In reality, President McKinley and the Republican leadership were hesitant to go to war. However, the people's cries of remember the Maine to hell with Spain could not be ignored. It wasn't until Senator Redfield Proctor gave his analysis supporting intervention that the tides began to turn. Finally, McKinley sought and received permission from Congress to intervene in the Cuban Revolution. The resolution was centered on securing Cuban independence and a brief occupation until peace could be established. War on April 25th, 1898. In 1898, the United States decisively won the Spanish-American War, leading to the independence of Cuba. However, the subsequent Platt Amendment and Cuban-American Treaty of Relations, including the lease of Guantanamo Bay to the US, left many Cubans feeling that their independence was not truly recognized. The treaty also gave the US the right to intervene in Cuban affairs to protect life, property, and individual liberty, US intervention. In 1905, the rigged Cuban election led to a revolt by the liberal factions who sought US intervention. However, President Theodore Roosevelt initially hesitated to get involved. Eventually, US military occupied Cuba and the Secretary of War declared himself the provisional leader until new elections. In 1909, a new president was appointed and the US occupation ended. This event demonstrated the US's willingness to interfere in Cuban politics. The period following the occupation was economically prosperous for Cuba. The First World Cuba's economy became too dependent on sugar after World War I, causing a recession when sugar prices crashed in 1920. Foreign corporations, mostly American, invested in and took ownership of many Cuban industries and businesses resulting in significant outflow of money from Cuba to the US. American tourism in the 1920s brought in more US-owned businesses and organized crime, turning Cuba into a Caribbean version of Las Vegas. President Gerardo Mercado's failure to keep promises worsened the situation. Global economy crashed in 1929. Cuba experienced political and economic instability in the early 20th century, with a reliance on sugar leading to a recession in 1920 and foreign businesses dominating the economy in the 1920s. The global economic crash of 1929 and resulting protests led to U.S. intervention and changes in the government, with military commander Fulgencio Batista ultimately seizing power and ruling as a dictator from 1934 to 1940. 1940 Cuban Politics Step into the time machine and journey back to 1940s Cuba, where progressive reforms were on the rise and Fulgencio Batista was making news with his capitalist policies. 
As World War II escalated, Cuba played a key role in the global conflict. But as the years passed, Batista's regime became increasingly corrupt and marked by inequality, with the US pulling the strings of the economy. Enter Fidel Castro, a left-wing firebrand who, along with his brother Raul, co-founded the movement to overthrow Batista's military dictatorship. With no peaceful path to progress, violence became the only option. It's a story of political intrigue, power struggles, and the fight for a better future. Conclusion In conclusion, the historical photos of the Cuban force before Castro offered a fascinating glimpse into a bygone era. These captivating images serve as a testament to the proud and distinguished military history of Cuba. They also remind us of the significant role played by the country's armed forces in shaping the political landscape of the region. Whether viewed through the lens of nostalgia or as a lesson in history, these unbelievable photos are sure to leave a lasting impression on anyone who sees them.